Um, hey guys, um, today's video will be showing you how to make a 10 pin dragon scale, which I don't know where mine went, so, you know, mine's in my little, like, bracelet area. So this is what it looks like. It's really comfortable to wear. Okay, so things you'll be needing is a rainbow loom. You can use any type of loom. If you have a rainbow loom, um, you can just simply take off this row to make it easier, but you don't have to if you don't need to. So. Then, you'll be needing a hook. Today I'll be using rainbow loom metal tip tuck. Mine's in pink. And the rubber bands, and you'll also be needing five C clips or S clips. So let's get started. In this video, I'll, um, in this video, I'll be using S clips. Okay, so let's get started. So um, you'll be needing ten pegs for this. So you're gonna take your first color. I'm gonna be using jelly yellow. And you start from the top, and you're gonna do figure eight on these two pegs. Remember, we'll be using 10 peg, pins, pegs. Uh. Now, get the same color. Skip one and go here. So, go here to here. Now, skip this and go here. Oh, and this design was made by Cheryl Mayberry, so shout out to her. Next, skip one space and go here. Now, skip one space and go here. But once you're doing this, make sure you're counting pins, pegs. So I'm going to start from the top. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so now we stop here. So now you uh, now you can take your next color. Um, I'll be using orange. And you're going to fill in these whole spaces. So you're going to do figure 8 in this little space. Do figure 8 in this little space. Grab the same color and fill in those two spaces. And then you're done. So that should look like that. Now, now you'll be needing your hook for this. So basically, <coughs> ooh, sorry. Um, basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull all the bottom one layer over. So so as you can see, the two layers, two layers, and grab the bottom, the bottom one, aka the yellow one, and pull it over. That should look like that. Now it's twisted, and you don't want it to happen. If you twist it, then it won't really work, or it'll be messed up. I guess you could say. Now, once you twisted it, put it back on the peg, and like that. You can twist it how many times you want. It doesn't really matter. Now you can take the bottom one again. I don't know how I got untwisted, but pull it over. So then it should look like that. Now, do the same thing over here. Put the bottom one and over. Pull the bottom one over here and over. So basically, you're pulling all the yellow ones over. And one over here. One over there. This is just for the beginning, so this is where like you can add S clips and C clips. So yeah, we're not actually starting our dragon scale yet. I guess you could say. Now you can push them down. It's really important to push them down because once you're placing on the bands and you don't push them down, they're gonna slip off and then you have to restart. Okay, now we're we're actually gonna start our actual dragon scale. So basically, you're gonna get a different color or same color. I'm use the same color. So mine's gonna be yellow. And put them on the place, the thing that you, you placed before. So if you're using yellow again, or ink, in my case is yellow, you can place them on the place that you, where you placed them before. So you're gonna start on the first peg, go there. The next color, skip the one, 
go here. Oops. And then go here. And it took me a while to master the dragon scale, but now I got it like like long ago. Now you do that all the way to the end. So yeah, okay, I am done. Now you can do the exact same thing. So now since you add on the yellow bats, you're gonna pull over the orange bands, but for once um when you're adding like the top and bottom bands, like these ones here. You're gonna pull the same color bands as the bot. Like, you're gonna put the bottom one over here because they have two layers. So, put that over. Well, don't worry about it. If you don't, if you're confused, don't worry about it, because you will get it really soon. So, I see another orange here. Put that over. Put all the two layers. Now as you can see, the two layers of the same color, you're still going to put that over. Then like that. If you're a right hand la right handed, you can do it this way. And if you're le left handed, you're going to do it this way. Since I'm in this way, because I'm my body is actually here, I'm going to do it this way. So it'll be easier for me. And you can push everything down. Now I'll show you at least one more time. But this time, since that you already did the yellow... And these, since if you start here, then you're going to switch colors after you hook everything. So now you're going to start where the holes are. You get here, so. Skip one, skip one. Go over here. Skip one. Go over here. And then you're done. Then you do the exact same thing. So start from the top and put that over. Oopsies. Now you can do the exact same thing over and over again, but but once you place on like the orange bands or in your uh, in my case orange, you just switch it the bands that are gonna go here. So mine's yellow, so I'm gonna start here. Now you could do this all over again. Now if you have a rainbow loom, you can put it down the bottom, but it took a long time for me to put it down the bottom, so I said just putting it on the side. So now that I'm finished, and also if you didn't get it right because I went way too fast, um, please rewind the video. So now, I'll show you how to take it off. So you can start from the top and move it over to the next peg, the one next to it. So you're going to be really careful for this. So that's one. Now I'll go from the end over here and go from here like that. Now you can take this one. Oh, I could face it towards me. Okay. So now that you got that, you could take this one. And pull it over to the one next to it. So one, two, three. Now take this one at the very end. Pull it over to the one next to it. So one, two, three, four. And then this one. Put the one next to it. Please, please, please be really careful. Now you're done. So now you're going to grab your S clips or C clip. This time I'm using S clips. So, um... By the way, I did not finish this one, so I just used the one that I did yesterday. Anyways, you gonna go pull it back, and pull it back, and put on the S clips or C clips. They both work fine, so I don't know why people think that S clips don't work, but they do. Okay, grab your next clip. Put it on over here, and you have to put it on right, 
or it would not work. Oops, I put it off the pick. Who cares? So, no. It's hard. It was not that hard, but since I'm used to it, it's okay because I made a six pin, four pin, and everything. Whew. So, oh. I might go off camera because it's really hard for me. Mm. I'll put back here. Grab your next clip. Clip and add those on. Which you probably can't really see me doing it, but I think you get it. Because this is advanced level. Even though it looks so easy and mine just fell apart. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Huh? I thought it did. Okay, now I take your next clip. There should be two more clips. Anyways, again, five S five clips. Um, if you're running at clips, then I do not recommend this because it costs a lot of clips. Now take another S clip, C clip, and you put back this one, and like that. Now you could really take it off, but make sure it's secured. <gasps> okay, mine almost fell off. Oh god. But I really do recommend C clips. I really, really do. Um, in my storage thing, um, I um, I took a handful and I got S clips. So that's what it came out with. Okay, now you freely take it off. Then it should look like this. And this fits my wrist, it really does. So if it's like, because it can really stretch out and it, it will fit your wrist when it's about this side. So now you take one end of the S clip or C clip and you're going to pull that over to the end like this and you can find like a figure eight kind of shape. Oh, here. So then it should look like that. So then you have two things like this so you can't really see. And you find the ends to it and everything, which is, which is kind of easy. And you just touch that on like that. Now you take your next S clip that's attached and you can find another like figure eight shape kind of but it's like folded over. I found it right here. Just pinch it and then add that on. Oh, why won't it fit? This is ugh god. Oh, I got one. Oh. If your band snap a lot. Um, the, I recommend using double bands, so it'll save, like, to your work, I guess, I guess you could say. I'm going to do the next one. I have two more to go. Mm, this is right here. Oops. So if your bands snap a lot, then I recommend using double bands. If you have a lot of bands, but they snap a lot, so. Yeah, double bands is secure if... Um, saving it, if it breaks again, it'll still be good. It just will be weird, but it will work. Trust me. Then take this, and boom. Now you are finished. So, when you, once you make um, a dragon scale, you basically know how to make every dragon scale. A 8 pin, a 6 pin. But yeah, so this one used two colors, pink and blue. This one used blue and purple. This is glittery. This is opaque. So it's really cute. They're really comfortable to wear. So um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And goodbye.